Batman the Dark Knight is a B&M Forwards Rollercoaster, located at Six Flags New England in Agawa, Massachusetts. Today I will be talking about why I think this is a very mediocre coaster, but also a pretty fun ride at the same time. So Batman the Dark Knight is a pretty fun coaster still. Even though I think it's mediocre, I'll admit there are some pretty good parts of this ride. The vertical loop pulls some really good forces, the Inelman also pulls some good forces, that turnaround actually pulls some pretty decent forces too, and the zero G will give some good hang time. The corkscrews though cause some pretty big headbanging, especially the first one. I remember my first ride on this in the front row, my head just got slammed to the um, side of the wrist strength on this corkscrew right here, actually. Um, I don't hate the corkscrews on this ride. In fact, I actually kind of like them because they were pretty forceful. But I just wish they weren't as rough. Batman the Dark Knight surprised me of how rough it was. I thought this was going to be a pretty smooth ride, but it was actually pretty rough. The first half was pretty smooth. The second half was not very smooth, though. Um, there's also an... A trim on this ride, which I don't understand why. This ride doesn't really need a trim, but I don't know why they put it there, but I guess it was there. Um, because you're going into that zero G roll still at not a very fast speed, but there's a trim that slows it down even more. You get some great hang time on that zero G roll. That's the only good part about the trim, though. Um, yeah, this ride doesn't have a lot of theming either. It's basically just a bunch of cardboard cutouts of Batman uh, villains and things from Batman shows. Kind of like how Superman Ultimate's Flight Q has the same type of things. Um, this ride overall is still a pretty fun ride. I just wish it was a little bit better than what it was. But it's kind of similar to a Batman the Ride clone, like the B&M inverted coaster design. But it's a four ways coaster. The only difference is it really has an Inelman um, instead of a second vertical loop. If it had a second vertical loop, it would basically be almost identical. Um, this ride does pull some pretty good forces, as I said. It is pretty intense, I'll admit that. This is my lowest ranked being a four ways coaster I've ridden. But I don't think this is a bad ride. I just prefer the three other four ways coasters I've ridden over it, which are Hydra the Revenge, Dominator, and Bizarro. But I still think this is a good ride. So now let's take a front row ride on Batman the Dark Knight. So first you climb to a top height of 117 feet. Then you go down this curved drop, similar to Bizarro and Dominator's first drop, reaching a top speed of 55 miles per hour at the bottom of the drop. Then you go through this pretty forceful vertical loop and then through this fun animal man, which can pull some pretty good forces. You then go through this turnaround. And then at the bottom of the turnaround, there is a trim which I don't know why, but that lets the Zero-G will have some pretty good hang time when you go through it. And then you go through my least favorite part of the ride, this first course screw. It's not a bad element, but it gives a lot of headbanging. You then go through this turnaround right here, and then you go through the final corkscrew, and then you hit the brake run. So Batman the Dark Knight is a pretty short ride, but it's a pretty fun ride at the same time. And for Batman the Dark Knight's final score, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. This is a fun ride, however it is mediocre, I still did really enjoy Batman the Dark Knight. It is my lowest ranked being a forward coaster I've ridden, but I still do really enjoy this ride. Batman the Dark Knight ranks number 37 on my top 50 Vokers I've ever ridden in 2020. Um, this is a very fun ride, and I really do enjoy it. So yeah, that is my review on Batman the Dark Knight at Six Flags New England. Make sure to like this video, also subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Keep coasting on my coaster demons. Peace out.